guys, so today I'm doing a special video. I was trying to do certain celebrities on their birthday, but because it's the holidays, I actually wanted to do uh, two people, <laughs> and they are Goldie Hall and Kurt Russell. And the reason why I did them for this month is actually because of their movie where they play Mrs. Claus and Mr. Claus in the Christmas Chronicles. Now, if you haven't seen those, I highly recommend you go watch that before listening to this. All the other movies I'm going to mention, if you haven't seen them now, you are way behind. And I'm letting you know I'm going to be talking about this. Um, but because of uh, the fact that I'm doing them together, I'm going to tell you their birthdays now. Goldie Hawes, the Goldie Hawns is November 21st, uh, 45, 1945. And Kurtz is March 17th, 1951. Um, and for many years, I actually thought these two were married. They aren't, so kudos to them because I'm gonna get into that a little later, but love the fact that they're not married and been together for so many years, fantastic. So uh, first I'm gonna go in with Col Goldie Hawn's uh, movies because of the fact that I haven't seen many of hers, so I don't know if as, you know, growing up, I just never got um, exposed to them, so I'm gonna have to look some up. Um, but two of the movies that I have is one where Kurt Russell's already in it, so we'll save that right before Christmas Chronicles. But the one I'm going to talk to you about is Death Becomes Her. Now, if you've not seen this funny movie, I highly recommend it. It's got Meryl Streep, Bruce Willis, and Goldie Hall. And I absolutely love this as a, as a youngster, I, I, as, a, as a little in. I used to call this um, the whole lady and the twist neck lady movie. I did not call it Death Becomes Her because I, for some reason it just never clicked as a kid. I used to call it, can we watch the whole lady movie? Because <laughs> Goldie Hall gets basically a nice little hole in the middle of her and Meryl Streep gets her head spun. So I love this movie. It's a fun movie. Uh, the scene, I'm hoping to put it up where Goldie Hall comes out of the pool is epic, scary, but hilarious at the same time. I loved it as a kid. I don't know why. And her eyes were just absolutely perfect. Um, Meryl Streep, awesome. They worked together so great, the two, you know, feuding and fighting. They were perfect. They had a slight, you know, buddy friendship that they hate each other, too. Um, Bruce was that poor man <laughs> in this movie. I felt so bad for him in this movie. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure he had a lot of fun, but just like his character, I was just like, oh, you poor man, you you wrong women. But I absolutely love this movie. I highly recommend you go see that. It's fantastic. I just, I love it. It's hilarious, especially when they start losing pieces and they're like, we gotta get this fixed. But really good movie. Um, so yeah, highly recommend that one. Um, like I said, I have not seen many Golden ha Goldie Hawn movies, so we're going to go straight to Kurt only movies next. And there's a lot of those that I have seen, but I'm only going to talk like about the few that, you know, as, as, a, as I, I grew up and knew. And one that everyone will probably know is The Thing. Now, y'all know this one. Creepy aliens. Uh, just, uh, so nasty. <laughs> but I do love this movie great cast in, in a lot of these movies where they work together with people. Um, uh, definitely great cast. I'm not going to go through everybody, unfortunately. I did try to find as many pictures as I could with all the cast in at one scene. They're not the greatest quality, I'm sorry. Google is always fun. Um, love that movie. Creep me out. Next, I would say, would be Backdraft. Good movie. Um, as a kid, it was it was one of those movies your parents would watch and you kind of watch with it but you'd only like pay attention to the very like traumatic scenes and this is one of them which i hate to say uh, same with the next one which is tombstone great movies uh really good movies as an adult as a kid they <laughs> didn't keep my interest but as an adult i still i really like them they're really good the next one which if you haven't seen is another comedy and that is captain ron I grew up on this movie as a kid. I really did. I grew up on this movie as well as the next one I'm going to talk about. Fun movie. Absolutely love it. Great cast again. Um, as a kid, that was more my speed, I guess you could say. And that's probably why I wasn't really uh, in, uh, well known through the Goldie Hawn movies because a lot of those are, you know, more adultish. 
um, but loved Captain Ron. And someone, I gotta post this, someone posted a picture of Kurt Russell and I think it's Escaping Los Angeles or the other one. <laughs> it's like poor Kurt Russell gets stuck with these eye patches. <laughs> he will be forever a pirate. And I love it. Uh, but yeah, so these are all the um, Kurt Russell movies. I have seen other ones, like I've seen Big Trouble in Little China. That one's a good movie, another fantastic group of cast. Uh, there's actually two cast members in there that I kind of want to do a video on. And that's the villain in that movie. I absolutely love him, he's a great actor. Uh, he's in so many movies. I even think he's, he does a lot of voice acting too. I think he's um, Poe's dad in Kung Fu Panda. I could be wrong, but I think so. And then the other actor is, I can't think, I can't think of these guys' names off the top. I'm horrible with names, guys. You're gonna realize this real fast. I'm horrible with names if I don't have movies. I'll remember that movie before I remember the actor's name, which is so bad. Um, but with that one, I believe he does... He, the actor I'm thinking of is... I mean, I'm probably going to do a poster specifically for... Or a picture specifically for this movie. And that is Three Ninjas. So if you haven't seen that one, go see that one. That's a good movie too. But I'll probably do like a little thing on that one as well. A picture and some... But the one that I know mostly of her in Goldie Hall is Overboard. I loved this movie as a kid. It was fantastic. It was funny. It was hilarious. I even found a Japanese poster, guys. Look at this. I love it. Nippon, you rock. Um, love this movie, especially Goldie Hawn. She does a great job of being very, like her original version of herself is so annoying. I could not be in this room with this woman. This stuck up, 1980s early 90s woman I would I would throw ice cream at this lady if I was a kid <laughs> I'm not gonna lie as an adult I don't like that persona when she meets Kurt and it's so cute and I mean Kurt is just Kurt gets her so bad and I feel so bad and I, I like how I think Kurt's character starts realizing okay I'm kind of kind of growing a little fond of this woman and, and I'm gonna be a little more nicer and and it's just a really cute movie I highly recommend it and once again don't talk to me about the remake I'm not one um, I'm not a person of remakes I mean if they're if they're done great fine but don't don't touch my nostalgia you'll you'll learn that from me don't touch my nostalgia I love the vintage stuff I love the traditional originals usually but anyway, so the, the reason why we're here. Now, you're probably all like, well, Overboard was a really good movie. Why, why Christmas Chronicles? Well, if you've seen these movies, and I hope you have, they're really great movies. I absolutely love them. Great cast. The only thing that drags them down are these things. And you're going to hear me clicking because I'm, I'm showing the pictures, so I know. It's just... <sighs> this movies, these movies would be so great if these little things were not in here. I know I shouldn't say that, but every time they enter, I'm just like, why? I just, I would have preferred them doing something along the lines of, you know, I don't, I don't know. They should have done something more like a Harry Potter, you know, magical creature style. These are just too kiddish and too cartoonish. Like, when I say kiddish and cartoonish, I'm thinking like, <laughs> not even Polar Express, because Polar Express was pretty okay. I don't know why, they're just, it's just too kiddish for me. I actually prefer more like the Tim Allen Santa Claus and things like that. But if you actually look at every time Goldie Hall and Kirk are together, they just have this chemistry and it's so adorable like so adorable I cannot it's just I just want to grab their cheeks and be like you guys are so cute sorry they're just so cute you can tell there's still like a romantic chemistry between the two and it's so amazing there's a scene in the movie where Goldie Hall is telling a story to the two kiddos and when they're talking about how you know Santa and Mrs. Claus wanted you know it was like a child you know blah blah that was theirs and things 
when Kurt's outside the door, he just has this look. And I know they've had kids. I know they have kids together. But my God, that look. It's just so devastating because he just, he knew how to hit that. Like, I think in the back of his head, he's like, all right, I got to act like what would have happened if me and Goldie couldn't have kids together. And just the look is so devastating because it's like, oh my God, I want them to have kids. I know they have kids. I know they have kids. But <laughs> in real life, but that scene is just like, ow. <laughs> I want them to be happy. And I mean, they're happy in the movie anyway, but I mean, just every time, like I'm going to pop up some pictures. Every time there's a picture of them together, it's just this cute, like romantic thing. Kurt has a tendency of always turning and looking at Goldie Hawn and just this look on his face is like, God, you're beautiful. <laughs> and it's so cute. I absolutely love it. And, you know, I wish I could say it was just in this movie, but I found this picture and I found this picture and every time he's just, he's got this look like he just absolutely adores her. And, I mean, they're both so cute. There's actually this picture. I'm trying to look when she's... There's this picture where she's looking at Kurt and Kurt's looking at her. And this cute little smile on her face is so adorable, guys. I don't know why. I just think that this has been the best couple I've seen together. And I absolutely love it. So I had to draw these guys. They're just so cute. So... Hopefully I finished drawing and this is my end picture for Kurt and Goldie as uh, the best Christmas couple ever. And I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoy. Have a great holiday and yeah, bye guys.